Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here, and today we are here for another recent reads video. But today we're only going to be talking about one book, um, um, because I am also going to do a little kind of series so far wrap up as well. So the book that I'm going to be talking about today and the next one that I read on my list was uh, Cruel and Unusual by Patricia Cornwell. I mentioned this in my most recent video as one that I'm unhauling because I'm not actually going to keep hold of this book um, but I am wanting to talk about it today because I did enjoy this one. This one was actually a four star read for me and I did like I said really enjoy it but before I actually talk specifically about this one I wanted to talk about the Patricia Cornwell um, K. Scarpetta series in general because it's a series I do really enjoy and I think that more people should read it but I also am aware that it's not a series that has aged massively well in terms of there are some quite problematic things in there however I do think the actual like cases themselves are really interesting and I do think a lot of it to be fair is probably that it's quite nostalgic for me because I've read this a lot I've read a lot of the books in the series I'm not sure how many books there are there's well over 20 um and I've read like quite a few of them over the years um but like mixed up in terms of I haven't necessarily read them in order and then I recently decided to start reading them in order so I've now like I said this is book number four so I've now obviously read the first four in the series so I wanted to kind of talk about those four um give you a little bit of a kind of synopsis for each of them mainly because like I said you don't actually have to read these in any order there is obviously their like personal lives um which you know go throughout all of them but I wouldn't say that they are books that you have to read in any order you can just pick up a random one and read it so as I said I thought I would really quickly give you an overview of the other three um, and then talk about this one a little bit more so before I talk about the specific cases in the first four books I will mention that this is a forensics um, kind of detective novel um, that centres around the main character Dr K Scarpetta Dr Scarpetta is the lead medical examiner for the state of of, uh, Richmond for the cap for the city of Richmond in Virginia and she like I say is the city medical examiner so she is the woman who basically performs the autopsies and who is in charge of organizing the autopsies um, of people could be you know uh, murder victims could be criminals but also could be general autopsies as well so she is like I said she's quite powerful woman in her own right um, and I love that I think that one of my favorite things about it is this is about a female um, medical examiner who is very much in the kind of boys world I guess um, you know a lot of the people around her are men um, she works alongside the FBI and she works alongside the police department um, and she has a partner called Marino who is a kind of big burly man he is a um, detective and they kind of solve crimes together basically and I think it's fantastic um, the first book in the series is called Postmortem and Postmortem is about Kay's first case um, in the series obviously she's done many before um, she is investigating these these four different women who have nothing in common um, but they've all been murdered in the same way um, by the same person and essentially they've all been murdered in the houses in the beds um, and they've been tortured and murdered and then it's about Kate then trying to figure out what it is that connects the four of them how they are connected and how those you know how they've been discovered before the next murderers or the next murders occur um, and obviously caught up in that of course she is then put into danger and that's kind of the synopsis for the first book which I think was a great first book it was a five star for me it really hooked me into the series um, it's definitely one that I had read many times before um, but I did really like rereading it um, I think it's just really wonderful I love Marino and Kay's relationship I think that <clears throat> They have a really dysfunctional relationship but it's like really nice in the same way and that they have each other's back even though they know like they're not very lovey-dovey or like touchy-feely kind of people but they definitely have each other's back. I also love the fact so Kay's niece is called Lucy and Lucy's mother is a bit of useless and that's Kay's sister and um, so Kay and her niece have quite a close relationship um, and I really love seeing Lucy from the very beginning of the first one she's like really into tech and she loves computers and that kind of thing and I love seeing their relationship from the very start of the first book to the later ones because I've read sort of book 20 and 
Lucy as an adult and it's kind of about the difference and she's working alongside them and I just absolutely love that I think it's great and they have such a wonderful relationship and I love to just watch them then the second one is Body of Evidence and this is my least favourite of the first four this one I gave a three star I didn't love this one as much um this follows um a case of a very well known writer named Beryl Madison who flees her hometown um in Key West um when a message is scratched on her car she returns to Richmond obviously where Case Got Better works and um she uh, on the night of her murder she deactivates her burglar alarm opens the door to her killer who ends up nearly decapitating her so Kate is inv involved in the um, murder of Beryl Madison and also the murder of her mentor or former mentor um, and both of those murders are having to be solved at the same time um, potentially linked together um, and also Beryl's most recent manuscript has gone missing and um, it's kind of about that um, there's also lots of like techie things in these books that's one of the things I love about it as well it's not just about the um you know like a typical police thing I guess it's also very much about like forensics and there's tech and Lucy like I said is um really into tech so she often helps her aunt and I love that I think that dynamic is great I didn't love this one as much just because I think the case wasn't quite as interesting um as the first one um, and I felt like it was a bit sort of stagnated with the relationships in this one as well but I do still really really enjoy it and I think that if you enjoy kind of police procedurals and you like kind of forensics and that kind of thing I think you would enjoy this one so I would recommend this one as well then book number three is called All That Remains and this is one that I'd read not that long ago um, and I really liked this one as well I gave this one a four star this um, follows um, a load of couples who have gone missing together and um, they are um, they're young couples and they are found usually found after months of being missing um and they are found um mutilated their corpses and um most the most recent uh, young couple to have gone missing is um the daughter and boyfriend of the president's latest they're calling it like a drug czar basically he this this woman is um she's the face of like anti-drugs and she's very much like involved in politics and um essentially she's working alongside the president for his campaign and then like i said her daughter and her daughter's boyfriend go missing and they obviously want to try and find them before they are killed and before it's too late um and like i said Kay is kind of drawn into that she's also this one is quite political as well so it has a lot of um like political um you know they, they talk a lot about the political side and how um cases it's in america specifically how the cases affect um like the political standing and stuff like that um which i think is really interesting um you know because they're all kind of like elected into their jobs um which i find really interesting and it's definitely something that i don't really think about too much because obviously it's not necessarily something that happens in the uk where i live so i am really intrigued by that side of things and like i said this one was a four star and i did really enjoy this one and then finally we have the book that i most recently read and that is this one so this is cruel and unusual by patricia Cormer, and this is my most recent read or one of the recent reads that I wanted this is what I'm talking about in this video so this story follows um uh what happens when a convicted murderer Ronnie Joe Waddell is pronounced dead um at 11.05 in a December evening in the electric chair he has been he was convicted um a few years before and now he um it's his like death sentence has been um applied and he has been he has been um, put to death and um, Kay Scarpetta or Dr Kay Scarpetta is waiting for Waddell's body to be essentially delivered to her morgue so that she can do his autopsy because that is the practice after the death penalty occurs um, and she finds out at that point when she does his autopsy that something's not quite right and that perhaps he didn't die quite in the way that um, he should have done um, and in the same night um, as this death um, the very wounded body of a young boy is found next to a skip um or propped up against a rubbish skip on the same night and he um is obviously has been murdered as well and although those two cases seem majorly unrelated um she thinks she remembers or case Scarpetta because she did the autopsy of the girl who 
uh, Ronnie Joe Waddell killed, she remembers that the body of his victim was left in a very similar way to the young boy who's been left near the rubbish skip. And it kind of goes from there. And I loved this book. This one was, again, another four star read for me. Um, I really loved Lucy's involvement in this one. Like I said, I really love Lucy and Case relationship. I think that that's great. I also think that this one um, went by really quickly. Like, this is not a book that took me very long to read. Um, I think this one is what is it 400 pages but it's just one of those books that I feel like you're just really invested and you kind of like sail through um this has a lot of like corruption and interest in it and for that reason and I enjoyed that um and I think that although Kay in this I feel like the first sort of four or five she's not like the most likable character um you do kind of see her as a very career-driven woman um but I think her and Lucy's relationship starts to kind of like chip her away a little bit and make her a little bit more like softer towards it and I love that I think her and Marino's relationship is also great there's just yeah there's some really great parts in this I love the bits where Kay really stands up for herself against her like superiors um and yeah I just think this one is wonderful this again is a really interesting book and I'm really looking forward to continuing on the rest um but yeah this one was fantastic and I would highly recommend so there you are guys that is my little kind of like Patricia Cornwell, Dr K Scarpetta the first book four books kind of introduction I guess and I would recommend that you read it I do think there are some very problematic things in this so you do have to really look out for that you know this book has a lot of um it, it just hasn't aged very well it's definitely a book of its time but I do think that they're still worth reading today um but I do understand why not everybody likes these books um but yeah I highly recommend reading them if you think you can look past that um let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of the Case Scopetta series or if you're interested in it I would love to know what your thoughts are give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time for another video bye guys